my name is Mas Barnkopf from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today I would like to show you a teardown of the possible smallest uh, rem remote radio unit that I have so far seen. It is this one, the Huawei RRU, I think it was uh, 3928. Um, I'm guessing from the power rating that this is a 20 watt output unit and it weighs a mere 15 kilograms. Look at the size, it's so small and cute. That's just like you can have a mobile base station in your pocket. We are certainly going that way, so let's see what's inside. We can quickly see that this is a 1800 megahertz um, base station amplifier made by Huawei. Up here is a little uh, status panel, run, alarm, active, something with switch maybe, and then primary one, primary two, or prim primary zero and primary one. And then uh, down here we have the uh, the product name and also the rating. So while it's rated for 500 watts power consumption, it's probably putting out 20 watt. I really do like this um, this cable connection compartment that they made because that's a very tight fit, completely sealed um, compartment here. Where the uh, let's see here, you actually have the uh, the primary connections, the power and the alarm cable output as well. For external alarm, the power connector, and then there is the two optical inputs up here. Down the bottom we have an um, antenna TXRX A and B and a return, whatever that is for. Now, there is something about China. They have to put warning stickers on everything. Um, it's hard, it's committing a, a Transmitting radio waves, but I feel there's also a little sticker which says the RU must be lift with handle and hold together. So, when lifting it up in the antenna mast, it has to use this uh, hole here, along with tying it to this handle, and certainly not this handle. So let's get the, the plastic covers off and uh, see how many screws there is on this, this unit. All the uh, large screws around the unit have been uh, removed and um, actually what I just saw when I took off the uh, the outer plastic shell is this uh, qualification card here. It actually says the date is 2014 May 26. So this is quite possibly the absolute youngest unit I have ever taken apart. This has seen less than three years uh, in service before it was thrown out. So either it's defective or, yeah, it was just some kind of uh, test setup. So let's get a look inside. For sure we will know that we have the duplex up here as we have these big antenna connectors. And there is a box here and all this is just heatsink. And as expected, we have the duplexer here. This up here looks to be the power amplifier, and that is because we can see there's a huge heatsink base plate around uh, on the bottom here. There are connectors that says uh, transmit A, transmit B, and it says forward AB. And over on this side, we have RXB, RXA. So the receiving connectors sit here. There is some uh, feedback connectors uh, down here at the bottom. And then we have the two transmit outputs from the uh, from the system unit here, or the uh, digital to analog converter. Uh, so I will get all this shielding removed and we will take a closer look. So let's see where to start. Oh, let's take the power amplifier. Ah, uh, what a beauty. Now this actually seems to be completely mirrored down the middle. Two channels. Okay, there's a little difference here with a 50 ohm resistor. But other than that, this looks a really, uh, really great layout. I'm really looking forward to, uh, to show you this uh, 
in a high res pictures and uh, let's see what's going on there. Oh, it's just coming right off. So it's just one big heat sink that the whole PCB uh, sits on. It's uh, glued with a heat transfer component. And you have all the power resistors, uh, power transistors uh, sitting directly mounted onto this plate. So yeah, that's, that's nice. Let's see what the... does seem to just go around the edges here, so... Yeah, that's just heat sink or heat sink fins below that. You see the system unit here. Ah, another screw missing. at the bottom. Up here we had the two transmit uh, outputs to the uh, power amplifier, so we would have all the uh, digital to analog conversion sitting around here. And as we had the receiving outputs uh, or receiving inputs down here, we would probably have all the analog to digital conversion over here. And on the back side, back side of this is the main CPU. So this part is probably also just coming right up. Is there a few screws somewhere? Okay, the uh, the external alarm output uh, has a few screws uh, that blocks me from uh, pulling the board out. So I'll just remove those and uh, we can take a look. Okay, two small uh, screws removed from the uh, sub D9 connector. Oh wow, that is one crazy layout. I've not seen it done like this before, that it's just the CPUs and large uh, data data treatment uh, processes that, sit, that sits on the back. And then you have all peripherals and decoupling and everything else sitting on the other side. That's special. That's something uh, quite quite new. Let's see, it has a Altera Araya two. Okay, haven't seen that either before. Usually those are. That's probably a newer generation uh, CPU than I've seen before. So uh, yeah, once again, I will take uh, high res pictures of this, and uh, we will do a circuit analysis. Now let's uh, take a look inside the duplexer. The duplexer has been freed all up. Um, just to repeat, uh, we have the uh, transmit A, transmit B, receive B, receive A, and then there are um, return uh, all the raw antenna outputs here. We can also see there's uh, some small uh, blue TVS diodes here. There's a little um, filtering and capacitors, di diodes and such to protect and a range of um, low resistance uh, resistors. Simply to uh, have a protective circuit around the antenna input for transient from lightning and such. So let's get the lid off. Very low level layout here, and some funky mushroom shaped resonators. So, if we could see, we have the two the transmit connectors from the power amplifier. The uh, power amplifier goes into these two and the signal. Okay, this one goes down into the uh, plate somewhere. So this will probably, uh, let's see, this transmit goes over here, over here, over here, over here, 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 here. And 
we have the two receiving parts. Okay, here it connects down to the antenna connector. And then there is a receiving path here, which goes over here. Now, what is funny here is that where is the rest? It is, of course, now that I think about it, there was also screws on the back side. So this is a double-sided duplex or all. Yeah. There's actually uh, two sides to it. That's also a new thing. I have not seen a design made like that before. So let's get the screws off the other side and check out the other side of the duplexer. And the second duplex lift is off. So we can just at least compare the, uh, the two back sides here. So you can see it's definitely not a symmetrical layout. But it is of course almost exactly the same that we have a uh, transmit path with the big uh, resonators goes over here where the uh, signal went through and from the red wire here that goes up to the receiving um, connector we have the small resonators going over to the antenna connector here. This is a uh, extremely uh, well uh, machined uh, piece uh, and it clearly shows that just uh, in a few years when moving up from, uh, from 3G amplifiers that can if uh, combined with the combined output run 4G, that these pure 4G amplifiers certainly is a whole other piece of engineering. So I'm looking forward to take a closer look at all this, uh, all this design and see if we can find some peculiarities or interesting designs or what kind of chipsets they used and such, since these are Chinese designed units. Thank you very much for watching part one of the teardown of the, this Huawei 3928 uh, remote radio unit. And I hope you will wait until I release uh, part two, which will be the circuit analysis of this um, very nice system board and uh, with analog and digital uh, conversion uh, circuits here. And also a very interesting design. We can see here with the backside uh, very special. And then there is also the very beautiful um, power amplifier part here, which is just a marvelous piece of uh, design in itself. So I really look forward to uh, to take this uh, under the, um, the microscope for a closer look. So um, I hope you will subscribe to my channel, share my videos, etc. I hope you enjoy it. Leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. And until next time, see ya.